Folks, I just uh, dug the old Mavic Pro out of the mothballs. Actually smells like mothballs. This drone was introduced in September of 2016, and it took the world by storm. Well, the drone world, that is. This 12 megapixel camera could uh, record up to 30 frames per second in 4K, had a uh, runtime of about 27 minutes, and had the first iteration of OcuSync. This drone is able to fly out about four, 4.3 miles or so and still maintain a good video transmission. Now, what I wanted to do, I'm gonna find out, number one, is it still working? I have updated it. Uh, is it a viable drone? Is it, this drone still have the chops to take video today and put on YouTube, or even for real estate purposes? Let's check it out. When DJI introduced the Mavic Pro, their first folding drone, they underestimated its popularity. Supply soon fell far behind demand. Folks who had pre-ordered had to wait many months to get their Mavic Pro. All right, folks, the big, uh, big to-do has been made about the uh, new uh, Mini 3 Pro uh, with its vertical video. This is for all you uh, TikTokers out there. Maybe you don't realize, or maybe you didn't remember, but this was actually the first DJI drone to uh, introduce that. Let me just bring over the, slide it over here, come on. And then we're gonna flip, flip it to portrait, boop. Just like that, because it's all about the sound effects. Bring it back. See, now we're in portrait mode. Moving a little bit closer here to that piece of equipment. Pretty neat, huh? Bet you uh, didn't remember, or maybe didn't even know that the old Mavic Pro had this function. All right, let's bring it back to regular mode here. Boop. All right, folks, let's get into it. Let's do a video here. All right, folks, that'll do it. Still a good drone, in my opinion, for in 2022. But some of the pros are that uh, it does have that four over four mile uh, range, 4K at, at 30 frames per second. Uh, it folds up, it's, it's very easily transportable, but there are some negatives too. I know one of them that, that problems I had issues with is with the focus. Uh, you really have to make sure it focuses. If the drone takes off and you have something in front of you, directly in front, it'll focus on that near item. And you'll, you'll get up in the air and it'll be totally out of focus. And if you're not aware, I've actually ruined a number of videos and had to go back and refilm because I realized the whole thing was out of focus. So you got to remember to tap to focus with this, with this camera. Uh, another problem is that the camera is a little bit delicate. It, it has received some criticism that this little guy here can break easily and does upon a crash, even a minor crash. One of the good things is though, it's easily repairable. 
And this drone actually has a bit of a history to it. This is one of the drones I actually bought and reconditioned in a video probably a couple years ago. Uh, I actually put a new ribbon cable on the camera and did some repair work on the body. So they're easily repairable. So that's, that's a good thing, actually. Well, this drone has a little bit of a history, too, is why I won't part with it. Uh, this was the one that was actually caught in a, a tree in the cemetery in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, for probably the better part of a month. Uh, we couldn't find it. It was trapped. I, I did something stupid. I ran it backwards without watching it. Ran it through the tree. We couldn't spot it. There was all leaves all over the tree. And uh, Andy, my son, actually, we went back about a month later, after going back several times, he spotted it in the tree, and I got a tree climber who eventually got it out of the tree. Now, this had been in the tree for, like I said, a month through several rainstorms, and I took it back, and I did a video. It's, I'll have a link to it down in the comments where I took it all apart, made sure it wasn't any liquid or any, any moisture in it, cleaned out a bunch of cobwebs, and guess what? This thing still works great. So it is fairly bulletproof other than the camera. Folks, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for joining. Take care now, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.